loss of 15-year-old Kaylee Juga is still very real to those who knew and loved her. Their daughter is gone and she's never coming back. Teresa Munns knows the Juga family and knows they were looking forward to a Friday night football game at Bradford High School. The cheerleaders planning a night in blue honoring Juga's life, who was shot and killed in May. I don't see what the harm is and some girls doing a cheer with some pictures and a moment of silence. On Tuesday, Kenosha Unified School District released a statement saying the district will remain neutral, not approving any memorials or acknowledging anyone because it would be legally required to do so for all students involved. It's the reason Kaylee's friends showed up to Tuesday's school board meeting. This game is Friday and it meant so much to just so many people. She touched so many people's lives and it was supposed to finally be a thing where we all come together and like remember her and they took it away. District officials said it cannot give such attention to one student without allowing it for both. Both is in reference to the teen accused in her death, Martise Fuller, who is Juga's ex-boyfriend. Prosecutors said he stalked Judah before allegedly killing her and was removed from school for threatening her. They wanted to dedicate the game to her because this is a tragedy and they're a large part of our community. They're a military family that gives up their time and their lives to fight for our freedom every day. And this is what they get in return. School officials won't prevent students from showing their support, but where they can step in is when a student is acting in an official capacity like a cheerleader. Fewer than a dozen of Kaylee's friends, including some cheermates, showed up to the school board meeting tonight at Indian Trail asking for more explanation about why Friday can't go on as planned. But at tonight's meeting, the school board could not offer more explanation because of legal reasons. As for the suspect accused in Juga's death, he pleaded not guilty and is due back in court next month. Reporting live in Kenosha tonight, Suzanne Spencer, Fox 6 News.